Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Manch. I'm the Fine Arts Director, and I'm pleased to welcome you to Stoughton High School's 2019 Spring Instrumental Concert. The bands you will see tonight have been working hard on their music for weeks and months and are all proud to share this performance with you in our final major show of the year. Before we begin, I would like to speak briefly about all of the parent volunteers who have been hard at work behind the scenes this year, making our music program run like a well-oiled machine. Our Music Parents Association in Stoughton is called Parents of Performing Students, or POPs. These parents have made commitments of time and money at whatever level is right for their families to ensure that every music student in Stoughton has excellent opportunities to perform and grow. Tonight we had several POPs parents assisting with ticketing and distributing programs. We had Ray McDonald, Barb McDonald, Caroline Cesario, Jen Durand, Paula Baptista and Debbie Podesta, and Mark Taylor. In addition, Janie Leahy and Debbie Podesta put together tonight's concert programs. Please give these parents a round of applause for all of the great work that they do. I urge every family here to co consider becoming members of POPs. You can sign up this evening just by finding Amy Skelly and filling out a blank membership form. And you can also go to our website, stoughtonfinearts.org, print out the membership form, and mail it in. You can become a POPs member for as little as $5, and when you donate at the $25 level, you will receive this year's official POPs magnet, which you can then proudly attach to your car or refrigerator. I would also like to thank Stoughton Media Access for videotaping this concert, which will be shown on local cable in the com uh, coming weeks. We really appreciate all of your support and your patience. And now, without further ado, will you please welcome the Stoughton High School Concert Percussion Ensemble.
We're going to move these instruments back in just a moment. The concert band will be up, and these folks will be rejoining us. Felix Mendelssohn. Uh, next we have a, a, a tune from the classic repertoire of our concert band called Polly Oliver and it will feature our clarinetist Victoria Lafarge. <laughs>
tonight was done by Aaron Copeland, and they will play one more for you, the New Colonial March.
Thank you so much for being here. Uh, our next two, after the Black Mask March, uh, very, very famous, probably maybe even the most famous piece ever written for concert band, except for the Stars and Stripes Forever. Uh, this one is called Irish Tune from County Derry. It is by an Australian named Percy Granger, who is very interested in uh, the United Kingdom, Ireland, uh, wrote many, many different uh, folk song settings of that area, uh, but for whatever reason, if he's from Australia, he came on over and, uh, and was very interested to see what they had going on on the other side of the world. So, uh, this is the Irish tune from County Derry, and it is, uh, you will recognize it, it is Danny Boy. Danny Boy. To, uh, in your program, it is actually, we've reversed it, we, tried, we decided to switch it actually yesterday. And uh, 
We are going to be moving to the Andante in Allegro now. You will notice that in your program, it says we have a special guest artist. We are very, very excited to welcome him to the stage. This is the University of Massachusetts Amherst Professor of Trombone, Professor Greg Spiridopoulos. They thought I was asking them to stand if I needed a music stand. <laughs> That's English for you. We're so excited to share this piece with you. Um, Professor Spiridopoulos actually is familiar with this piece. It is originally for piano and trombone, uh, and, and he will be playing it with the UMass Symphony Band uh, next year potentially. Uh, and he's actually, this is, this is kind of his uh, first, first time with a high school band uh, performing this piece. We're very, very excited to share this with you.
this evening. We're going to be performing the Chester Overture by William Schumann. A uh, very, very interesting piece of music. This is based on a, uh, on a hymn tune that was originally written by William Billings, who actually has a connection to this town. You may or may not know, uh, the oldest running musical society in the entire United States exists in Stoughton. It's called the Old Stoughton Music Society. And the composer of the Chester tune, William Billings, used to write for the Old Stoughton Music Society. So we we're very, very pleased. I'm sure that they sang Chester back in the uh, Revolutionary times. This, this song, this piece of music is very tightly tied to this specific geographic area of the world. So, it's the Chester Overture. It's written by a 20th century composer. He took the hymn tune and then created a very unusual and interesting piece of music uh, which kind of explores that tune and that melody uh, in a wide variety of ways. So I think you'll enjoy it. The Chester Overture.
few minutes, we'll be back with the Wednesday Jazz Band. set with the very famous jazz standard by saxophone player Sonny Rollins, Doxy. Oh, and before I forget, we had two soloists on Katie. We had Joe Mark on the piano. And Isaac Ehrman on the alto saxophone. Actually, there's a third solo, Kimmy Durden on the trumpet. Harder music. Thank you. 
That was running with scissors, which of course you should never do. We had Deepak on the very set. Hassan, yes. He was improvising, by the way. Hassan improvising on the bass. And Zoe improvising on the drums. Yeah. Next and last, we have Samba Del Gringo uh, to send you off for your evening. We have one of our saxophonists, Michaela, is going to join the rhythm section. Mr. Van just around and wants to get the shaker eggs he can. And uh, Samba Del Gringo, thank you everyone for coming. And uh, the students did a great job. Loved hearing the symphonic band, Wednesday jazz band, concert band. Have a lovely evening. Thank you.
everyone. Have a wonderful evening.